Did you know rodents are frightened of some sounds? In this video, we will look at how the ear works and how different animals can hear different sounds. The visible part of the ear is called the pinna. It funnels sound into our ears. The sound waves travel down the ear canal towards the eardrum. The eardrum is a membrane at the end of the ear canal and is extremely sensitive. Sound waves cause the eardrum to vibrate. The cochlea is filled with fluid, so as the eardrum vibrates, the vibrations pass on to the fluid. As the fluid vibrates, this causes the small bones of the ear also to vibrate. There are three small bones, the hammer, the anvil and the stirrup. The last bone, the stirrup, is connected to another membrane which covers the entrance to the cochlea. The vibrations pass through to the fluid inside the cochlea. It is inside the cochlea that the sound waves are transformed from vibrations into electrical impulses. When the fluid inside the cochlea vibrates, this causes the microscopic hairs to also move. This produces electrical signals which are then sent to the brain along the auditory nerve. In the brain, the electrical impulses are translated into sounds which we recognize and understand. Most humans' eardrums can vibrate at frequencies between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. This is known as the human hearing range. Anything outside of this range is either too low or too fast for our eardrum to cope with. But not everyone has this exact range. There are lots of reasons why people lose the ability to hear well. Maybe damage to the eardrum, or the cochlea loses sensitivity with age or prolonged exposure to loud noise. Usually, it's the higher frequencies that people can't hear as well as the age. A normal middle-aged adult can often only hear up to about 14,000 Hz. Men's hearing often worsens more quickly than women's, and so women can hear higher frequencies than men of the same age can do. Any frequency that is below human range is known as infrasound, and any frequency that is higher is known as ultrasound. Animals can hear a different range of frequencies to humans. Dogs can hear between 67 Hz and 45,000 Hz. So humans can hear some sounds that are too low a frequency for dogs, while dogs can hear some sounds that are too high a frequency for humans to hear. Other animals hear at other frequencies. Elephants with their huge ears can hear lower frequencies than we can. Differences in hearing range between animals can be used as a pest deterrent by playing sounds that are an unpleasant frequency to the animal but are undetected by humans. This is used to deter pests such as rodents, spiders and insects. So, there you have how hearing works. If you've ever heard the expression as quiet as a mouse, you now know maybe that mice aren't quiet at all. We just can't hear them.